Good afternoon, friends. Uh, I'm Dr. Jagdeep Singh. Today, we are going to discuss what is forecasting. So, forecasting is a systematic process of making predictions or estimations about future events or trends based on historical data analysis and expert judgment. It is an essential tool used in a wide range of fields, including economics, finance, business, weather, and technology to anticipate future developments and make informed decisions. <clears throat> In essence, forecasting involves using various methods, models, and data to anticipate and plan for future outcomes. It helps organizations and individuals to make better decisions by providing insights into producing future decisions. The process of forecasting typically involves forecasting involves a series of steps to make sure that predictions are accurate and help in effective decision making. Here are the key steps in forecasting process explained in a simple and easy to understand way. <clears throat> Number one, set clear goals. Start by deciding what you want to predict and why. Figure out the purpose of the forecast and choose the time frame you are interested in, whether short term, medium term, or long term. Gather information. Collect past data or uh, maybe primary or secondary data, whether it may be past data uh, or maybe uh, current data related to your forecast, like previous sales, numbers, market changes, or economic signs. Make sure the information is correct, trustworthy, and up to date to get the best possible forecast. Choose a method, pick the right forecast techniques based on your goals and the available data. There are various methods, including qualitative approach, like expert opinions, and quantitative approach, that is, statistical methods and algorithms. Analyze the data. Use the chosen methods to examine data and look for patterns, trends, and relationships. This analysis will help you make informed predictions about future events or outcomes. Make the forecasts based on your analysis. Make educated guesses about what might happen in future. Keep in mind and Keep in mind the limitations of forecasting and uncertainties of the future while making your predictions. Validate the forecast. Check your predictions against actual outcomes or historical data to see how accurate your forecast is. This step helps identifying any issues or inaccuracies in the forecasting process and can guide improvements in future forecasts. Review and adjust. Regularly review your forecast and update it as new information becomes available or conditions changes. Stay flexible and be prepared to, edit, to modify your predictions and plans as needed. Now we can take one example from demand forecasting. <coughs> so navigating the future steps in demand forecasting. Today, uh, dynamic and competitive business landscape staying ahead of the curve requires more than just quick reactions to market changes. It depends on strategic approach to anticipate customer needs. Demand forecasting is the compass that guides organizations through the ever-changing market place. Helping them allocate resources effectively, reduce inventory costs, and enhance customer satisfaction. <clears throat> now we need to understand different steps involved in demand forecasting. So, define the purpose and scope. Clearly, the purpose of demand forecast and identity. Clarify the purpose of demand forecast and identify the specific products or services you want to forecast. Determine the time period you want to forecast for, whether it's short term, days or week, 
medium term maybe monthly or quarterly or long term that is that might be for a year gather historical data collect relevant historical data on past sales customer orders and any other relevant information this data will serve as the formulation for analyzing trends and patterns clean and prepared data <coughs> Clean, clean and organize the data, ensuring accuracy and consistency. Remove any outliers, duplicates, or error that may affect, affect the analysis. Choose forecasting method. Select appropriate forecasting method based on the nature of new data. The forecast horizon and available sources, resources. Common forecasting methods include time series analysis, regression analysis, qualitative methods such as market research and expert opinions, and advanced statistical techniques or methods. Apply forecasting models. Apply the choose forecasting method to the historical data to generate forecasts. This could involve using software tools or a statistical package that automate the calculations. Now, evaluate accuracy. Assess the accuracy of forecast by comparing the forecast values with the actual outcomes. Measure the forecast errors using appropriate metrics such as mean absolute error or mean squared error to understand the quality of forecast and identify any area for improvement. Refine and adjust. Continuously refine and adjust the forecasting method based on the accuracy assessment. In, incorporate any update information, updated, uh, incorporate any updated information or changes in market conditions that uh, may influence demand. Monitor and review. Monitor the actual demand as it unfolds and compare it against the forecast. Regularly review and update the forecast based on new data and insights or any market condition changes. Collaborate and communicate. Share the forecast with relevant stakeholders such as sales and marketing teams, production planners, and suppliers. Collaborate with them to align and adjust plans based on forecasted demand. Iterate and improve. Demand forecasting is an iterative process and continuous improvement is essential. Incorporate feedback, learn from past performances and integrate new techniques or data sources to enhance the accuracy and reliability of your forecast. Remember, for, uh, remember, demand forecasting is not an exact science, and forecasts are subject to uncertainties and external factors. It's crucial to regularly review and update the forecast as new information becomes available, allowing for agile decision making and timely adjustment to meet customer demands effectively. So. This data source is uh, from LinkedIn, and this is the link for this uh, uh, topic. So, thanks, uh, friends. Watch it. And also, I will uh, bring a new topic in future. So, stay tuned. Thank you.